This is the third part of my video series on uh, making a new birdhouse, but more importantly, I'm trying to help you learn how to sell, whether it's at a festival, I'll talk about that, whether it's on Etsy or using social media like Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram. It all helps to get noticed, get likes, get subscribed, increase the channel if you have it, or just in general, learn how to make really interesting fine crafts like these birdhouses. In between talking about those ways to sell and market your fine crafts, I'm going to show you how I built this cedar face birdhouse. So picking up from part two, I complete the embellishment stage and I just picked a bunch of twigs up from around. Now remember my birdhouses are rustic, organic, and very creative and decorative. So I'm adding these twigs here to just underneath the peak and I'll put a piece of wood over the top of that that covers the area where they join to the face of the birdhouse. I will reiterate some things that I talked about in part one and part two, but nothing like a conclusion to help make things more solidified within your minds about selling. First, I'm going to talk about Facebook. If you don't have a, a site, channel, whatever they call it on Facebook, set one up and find groups that relate to what you're making and selling and subscribe to uh, others groups and then post your items on those group pages and what you'll want to do is also add a link perhaps to an Etsy page where you can sell online I'll talk about Etsy in a little bit or perhaps you have your own site that you own I have both mhstudios.com I also have an Etsy site and um, you know Try to keep it simple, though. If you have too many places to sell, it will make you crazy trying to, it makes me crazy, let me say, trying to keep track of all of those things. And when I sell something, I have to delete it off of every potential selling page. It's it's crazy. And they don't all synchronize because obviously they're in competition with each other and they don't sync with one another. So what you need to do is, my suggestion is pick one. Now, I suggest Etsy, and they have their downsides, but Etsy's good because everybody knows about Etsy. Now, now that's a good feature, so you probably want to think about having an Etsy account. In any event, it's about $0.20 cents per item, which isn't much. They take a certain percentage, and the percentage is even inclusive with shipping costs. You can set up shipping separately. You know, there's a lot of different ways to uh, set up Etsy, and that's an art in and of itself. I suggest finding some YouTube channels to learn about how to set up an efficient and simple direct Etsy account. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I'm a trained professional photographer and videographer, so I throw in some of my videos from time to time just as a break in the work that I do. If you want to look at that channel, just type in Melanie Heinrich into the YouTube channel search bar. So there's different ways of promoting yourself. One of the ways I do it is through festivals. I also sell at these festivals, but it's a great source of promotion. When people come up to the booth, whether or not they buy something, you're still getting your name out there. You have a web page. You should have a web page. If you don't, there's lots of really easy, I think Wix is one of them, 
very easy way to set up a web page. Um, I do have a web page. Again, it's mhstudios.com. I have all the links to my Etsy site, my uh, Instagram, my Facebook. These are important things that just reiterates you're legitimate and that you're also available to, um, you know, talk with people and also sell things. So don't forget that at festivals you can talk to these people that come up and at least give them a card point out that your youtube channel is on there they they can learn how to make videos i'm sorry make the items that you're selling people love they always ask me that when i'm at a festival how'd you make this what what kind of wood is that what what is this what do you do to seal it uh, you know a million questions way more than they get in the comments on my youtube channel so don't negate the idea of doing a festival even if it's just for promoting your channel your website and your sales on etsy that's a really important feature i point out that they can contact me i have a gallery they can contact me and set up an appointment so there's three really valuable things there actually more if they do go to your website where you can promote your site you your items so do that if you haven't done that already set up a website and get set up at festivals, but make sure it's a festival that is appropriate for your style work. So what I'm doing here now with this birdhouse is I'm adding an etching to the back of it because I didn't like what I had on there to begin with. And I made this etching on a laser etcher, a Diwali laser etcher. It was a little over $200. But I just wanted to change things up, and I have done that with this particular bear etching that I made. It was pretty easy to figure out. I also had to buy a program called Lightburn. I think that was about $60, but um, it works with both PC and Mac, and you can put it on two different computers, so you have some options there. But it was pretty easy to get into. I'll put a link below to that uh, Diwali laser etcher. There's other ones out there. Otor makes one. They, I hear a lot about that on YouTube, so that must be a good one too. But you can research it if you do want to get into this. It's a very cool process. And I love the um, addition when I make things like this piece on leather. I can add it to other things, so I'm thinking out of the box with the things that I'm making. So a question I get several times when I'm at a festival and through the comments, do birds really use these birdhouses? They're so beautiful. Well, I'm not sure why that would prevent them from using them, but in any event, um, they do use them, and it's like any birdhouse, but I have to tell you, I had a birdhouse in my backyard, and for five years, no bird took occupancy in this house, and then after the fifth year, all of a sudden, this family moved in, and they were there through the rest of the duration. This birdhouse was falling apart because of weather. It wasn't one of mine, but I had to repair it, which I did, you know, after five years, and it's wood, things do fall apart. I suggest really putting these under cover in a safe place where a bird will feel comfortable. Nonetheless, there's no guarantee that a bird will take residency in your birdhouse, but you can only send out the invitation imagine sending out invitations for a party some people show some people don't some people respond some people don't it's a gamble and you just go with it but good luck put it in a place where you know birds are living feeding whatever they're needing to do
So as promised, I'm going to talk a little bit more about when you're in the festivals, at the festivals, when you're in the marketing place where you're talking with customers and trying to sell. A couple of things may occur. If you know your market and you're in a market where people are, if you're making things like I'm making and it's art, then you are going to be uh, dealing with people if, if you're in the right market people that are well healed and willing to pay $200, $300 for a birdhouse. They appreciate art. They don't have a problem paying for your work. If you're not dealing with people like that, and but they all love your birdhouses, they just can't justify spending that kind of money on a birdhouse. Some say, oh, I would never let a bird stay in there. That's too nice for a bird. They don't really have that understanding of fine art. So you have to make that decision. But you'll know as soon as you start talking to people whether or not, you know, whether you're, what your market is, who, who your buyers are, if they're there, if they're not there. I suggest taking things that aren't as expensive, but also things that are artistic that they may like, but be able to afford. So this little piece I'm adding here at the bottom, that is also done on the etching machine, and it's veneer, so it's like a 32nd of an inch, very thin, but I didn't cut a shape around the outside, so I had to do that with the scissors, but it's okay. It still is pretty cool, and it's uh, cut from a veneer piece of, I think it's leopard wood. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to leave a gap? Do I want to put them together? How do I want to do this? I decided to go around the, the piece of bamboo that surrounds the hole. So I'm trying to cut that circular shape out. And that's what I'm doing now, the process of that step. If this video interests you, take a look in the comments and or in the description and you may see the answer to a question you have in regards to selling and marketing and well, whatever else I think that I should have included in this video. And finally, I'm adding some final embellishments. This is a resin irregular circle. That uh, edge was a little rough, so I'm sanding it down. And once I add the urethane over the entire birdhouse, that will disappear. And uh, some o oak nuts. And uh, just, just to see, I'm playing with it right now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm thinking a moon. Uh, I think that goes pretty well up there, those nuts, so I add that. Again, using this hot glue, I will put a link below for that. 
A couple more things I want to mention before I get to the end of this video, and that is working with an Etsy site. It's one thing to have an Etsy page site, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they call it. In any event, you really need to marketing they market it. They do have uh, marketing abilities on Etsy. On Etsy, you can use that. I believe you can post your anything new you put up there to Facebook. Nevertheless, you may also want to use your Facebook page to update things as well. Social media seems to be the way to go. You can pay for advertising, but that can be expensive. I remember paying like, I don't know, $60 for Google ads, and I was like, I never saw them. I, I had, you know, it was just random. So and checking it out and seeing what your um, reward is for the investment is nearly impossible. So I um, decided not to do that again. I wouldn't advise that. You're better off doing the marketing yourself, really learning how to do that and doing the marketing on your own via Facebook, Instagram, and other social media um, apps that, on the are on the up and coming you can do short videos on a youtube channel if you have one you can use anyway just check out social media but the big ones obviously are facebook instagram and pinterest because it is a search engine and one other thing i need to mention is that when you do festivals Personally, I think it's the best way, and not only because you have the potential to sell your work, but when you do festivals, you can take orders for people if you want to do that. You can make custom orders. I have a friend who's a jeweler, and he gets custom orders all the time, so he does take that into consideration when he thinks about playing a spot or working a festival, and, um, you know, if it's he makes another, you know, couple hundred dollars, maybe more. He's a jeweler, so maybe a couple thousand dollars. He considers that part of the value of working a festival where he does get a custom job. So consider that. Don't throw out the idea of festivals unless you're unable to get out there and travel and actually do these festivals. Like I said earlier, there's a lot to weigh out you know, gas and uh, hotel and food when you're traveling. So that's a lot to think about, but consider all of these things that I've mentioned in the last three episodes of this series. And if you have any questions or comments, please put it in the link below. Um, every week I try to post a new video. I've been pretty good about that. If you have uh, an interest in seeing more, hit the subscribe button and the like button and that will uh well not the like button but the notification button and that will let you see when i post a new video but i post honestly i'll tell you on saturday around five ish and and p.m and just testing that out that may change so hitting the notification button is the best way to go and I'm here to help you. If you have any questions, please uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you.